Okay. So what you're going to want to do after you've located a work of art that you'd like to highlight in your report, you're going to come back into your slideshow and you're going to go just below where you put your quote yesterday. You're going to create a new slide. Okay. You'll paste that image in. You may want to readjust the size to make it a little bit easier to see all the details. And then you're going to want to create your citation. Okay. As you see here on this example, a citation is a way to uh, give information and identify the work of art that you're looking at. This is called an MLA citation format for a work of art. It's really, really simple. I've outlined the whole thing on the next slide here. I'll actually make this a little bit larger so you can see it a little bit better. Okay. So MLA citations include four pieces of information, the first being the artist's name, the title of the work of art, the year that the artwork was completed, and then lastly, where that work of art is currently in the world. So I have a colorful version here on the next slide. So the first thing that you're going to want to include is the name of your artist, and that is written last name, then first name. So last name, comma, first name. So Van Gogh, comma, Vincent goes first, followed by a period. After that, you will include the title of the work of art. This is written in italics, so those slanty letters. This is called Sunflowers. It's actually the fourth version of the painting that he did. So I included that. Sunflowers version four is the title, followed next in green, the year that the work of art was completed. Now this can be a little confusing for works of art that took a very, very long time, like Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel, for example, was painted over the course of four years, so if that were the case for your work of art, you would include those four years in your citation, uh, the year it started, and then a dash, and then the year it was completed. Uh, followed next in orange is the location where the work of art is currently on display or whatever collection owns that artwork currently. This work of art is at the National Gallery in London. This might say the Museum of the Art Institute of Chicago, or it might even say in a private collection because somebody owns it and they have it on display at their house or in a giant warehouse full of all their gold and diamonds. Okay, so wherever that work of art is currently, that information goes here at the bottom. So if I go back to where I put my image here, I would start with my artist's name, Van Gogh, comma Vincent, followed by a period. I would then want to include the title of this work of art. If I go back here to the Museum of the Art Institute's website, I see that it is titled The Bedroom, and it was painted in 1889. So here I would title mine Bedroom. Remember, I would put that in italics, which are these slanty letters up here, okay? Following that would come the year it was painted, 1889. After that, I would include where this work of art is currently being housed. I know that it's at the Art Institute because I got it on their website. And clicking, I can find even more information about this painting here. I can actually see who donated it to the museum. And the reference number, if I ever wanted to go and look this up at the Museum of the Art Institute, I'd know exactly where to find it. So I'm going to type in that information here, museum of the Art Institute of Chicago. So I've done this now for one work of art. As you can see here in my final finished version, I'm going to want to do that for two more works of art by Van Gogh, copy pasting an image for each and citing it each on their own individual slide. Okay. So that is your assignment for today. Happy hunting. If you have any questions, obviously you are free to email me. I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Um, yeah, good luck and have fun.